We're gonna go over an unboxing of a T56, typical six-speed package from Modern Driveline. And we've already removed these items from the pallet. So well, let's go ahead and dive into the boxes. In front of me is a Tilton six-speed, or a, a twin disc uh, clutch and flywheel. Not all the six speeds will come with a twin disc, but this particular order was set up with a Tilton ST246 twin disc. And the flywheel will also be in the same box. So it's gonna be a little on the heavier side. Again, our folks here in shipping have done a great job of making sure that the items are secure. There's no shifting around of the packages. Your alignment tool and, and the other parts are gonna be stuck in the corner, unlike our single disc clutches that'll be underneath the foam. Let me just set this aside, but I believe that to be the pressure plate. On the bottom, you will find the Tilton Chrome Molly flywheel. So in the bottom of the box, you'll have the chromoly flywheel. And I don't believe there's gonna be any additional hardware in here, so we're good to put that aside. Some of the nice features about an ST246 is the ring gear is built right in, good solid design. We wanna again do an inspection, verify that we have the correct part numbers and that the um, Bolt circle uh, is set up for your car. So just verify that against your um, sales order. Check off your items as you're going down the list. So obviously we have the uh, Tilton. Let me set the flywheel here just ahead. Let's dive into the pressure plate. Now with a twin disc, take a little care, make sure everything is in order. What we have here is it's carefully wrapped and it's actually been tie wrapped to keep the discs because the disc and the pressure plate are together. Now I'm not going to undo the straps on this particular example, but I do want to show that we have the pressure plate, the disc floater, and the second disc. So you want to make sure that if you undo this here, just note the orientation of the disc and also uh, note which uh, pressure plate, or excuse me, disc belongs here. Obviously you're not going to remove the floater plate, so the, the lower disc is, just needs to be put in the same orientation that it was presented to you. Now included with the kit is the hardware to secure the pressure plate to the flywheel. So that's included. Tilton's also included some lubricant for the uh, uh, fasteners and alignment. The uh, pilot is going to be in a separate box, so don't expect to find it here because Tilton does not include their pilots with the clutch set. We at Modern Driveline will send that to you as part of your package. So let me take a moment here to uh, clear the uh, table and open up the remaining boxes. All right, let's dive into the second box here. Our folks here even put a little note on there to check your order again, as you're going through these, check off the items. So 
So right up top here, we give you a merchandise return in case anything is not to your liking or you wish to exchange something. So they put that right on top for you. They give you a little nice little, little swag. So the first item out of the box is a hydraulic slave cylinder for a T56. This particular order has acquired a, what we call a low clearance model, concentric slave. We do also offer the Tilton 6000 series. This one's obviously secured very well. So we have the bearing and the alignment. Let's continue on here and get some more parts out of our box. It's like Christmas, you know, you pull all the presents out, unwrap them. So let's see what's next. Okay, so in this uh, uh, wrapping here is a packet of all your uh, installation hardware uh, uh, pieces. You get your hardware to put the kit in. We have a rubber isolator here for the transmission cross member. All right. So in this packet here, we have the harnessing necessary for a T56. T56s do have more harnessing involved because of their additional lockout features, reverse harness, speed sensors, that sort of thing. So that's all included in this packet here. We do have a braided line with that pilot uh, bushing that we spoke of earlier being separated from the clutch. Last item in this box is going to be the master cylinder kit. Right off the bat, packaged right up on top is our bleeder kit. Now we do this as an added value product. We realize that in, um, installing a hardware or a, a hydraulic system one of the number one questions we get is how to bleed the system. So we came up with a one-man bleeder kit. It includes a syringe and line and detailed instructions. We do have a video online that walks you through this as well. But the nice thing about it is that with the one-man bleeder kit, you're able to push the fluid through um, and fill the system while it's installed in the car. So there's no reason to pre-fill the system. So we'll set that aside. Uh, we do have a reservoir. Reservoir can be of this type. We do offer also aluminum in case you have received one of those. And then we do have the uh, master cylinder with the fittings already installed, ready to be in, uh, put in the car. In this particular kit, we also have the hardware. Um, so your uh, kit may vary in, in contents. There may be a firewall plate uh, and some additional linkage, um, but importantly, uh, there is some details instructions, so be sure to review those before starting in on your project. If you have any questions, get a hold of us in tech. We'll be glad to walk you through if you have any questions at all. We'll be including more videos and details on how to install each kit as we move forward. But if, and again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. That's the value adding from buying from Modern Driveline. So let me put some of this stuff away and we'll dive into the third of four boxes in this kit. Okay, we've got third of four boxes in front of me and immediately I'm greeted by a check your order errors must be identified submitted within 10 days. So, you know, again, can't uh, uh, emphasize it enough. Take your sheet, go through each item, check mark it off. Our folks in shipping took great care in checking it off to assure that your order was right. International orders, we even double, triple check them just to make sure because the consequences obviously are greater. So let's dive into this box. Okay, so what we have here is a quick time bell housing T56. This is a great product. Uh, made in Iowa, US made product by our folks over at QuickTime. 
you just kind of take some of the contents out here, slide this over and kind of go over this a little bit. Again, make sure that you are uh, inspecting it. This is in great you know, condition, powder coated part. So the piece is ready to go. About the only place you should see no powder coat will be on the alignment pins to assure uh, accurate um, a fitment with your engine pin. So everything else, um, again, should be mark free. QuickTime has included some hardware. We're looking at some bell housing bolts. They happen to be a 12-point uh, uh, bolts in this particular kit. These particular pieces of hardware are going to secure the bottom end of the bell housing where it does not tie on to the engine. The uh, transmission to bell bolts are going to be included in our installation hardware kit, so be sure to see those. Um, let's also look inside the box. The box is going to include some details about your bell housing, including an exploded view of the particular bell. Now this one's kind of a, a generic, meaning that you may not have sizing rings because this is a T56, but if yours is a five speed, the sizing rings will be uh, mentioned there. In the bottom of the box is gonna be an engine plate. Obviously the engine plate will vary depending on model. This particular one is going to secure the uh, exposed area of the bell housing uh, where the flywheel will be exposed to the outside elements. So being an SFI uh, rated bell, um, obviously this is part of the requirements for 6.1 certification. So we'll just set that aside. And of course, QuickTime gives you a little go fast uh, stickers. So you have some fun with that on your, on your toolbox or your car. But that's basically what's included with a QuickTime bell. Again, US made product, fantastic piece. So let's clear the table and we'll dive into the T56. All right, we have the crown jewel, the six speed Magnum here in front of us. So let's take a look at it. Now, this particular Magnum, is a, a standard Magnum, not, Magnums do come as Magnum F and Magnum XL. Magnum XLs are going to come with a bell housing inside. This particular bell, or this transmission here is just a trans by itself. Actually, our got pers uh, folks in shipping have included the oil inside the box again for saving. So we've got the oil carefully wrapped uh, inside the box. So we have all four quarts stuffed in the corners. So um, again, we're gonna be doing an inspection. I'm not gonna remove this transmission only because it weighs about 120 pounds. We just wanna show you basically how it's going to arrive and what you can expect uh, when it comes off the pallet. So one of the reasons that we ship T56s on a pallet is due to their weight and size, they do not ship very well via ground. Uh, ground is about 150 pounds. These things in a box reach that level. So they travel much better on a pallet. So we do ship these to either to your uh, place of business or to a freight depot. If we are going to ship it to a, a, a private residence, um, there is additional lift gate fees and so forth. So best to have it shipped to a place of business and uh, it'll arrive safely. Once you've reviewed all of your items and make sure that they're there, feel free to give us a ring or if you have any questions, tech or just general questions about your order, get with your customer service rep. And we're available from uh, Monday through Friday, eight to five mountain time. We're also available through tech at moderndriveline.com. And you know, send us some photos. Let us know uh, how enthusiastic you are about your product. Feel free to even shoot some videos and go on social media. Always appreciate that. Let us know. Tag us. We're on Instagram and Facebook. And also come back to our website. We would really enjoy seeing a review. We have a link at the top of our website that says review us on Google. You know, leave us a review. And uh, you know, again, send us some photos. We'd love to see it. We share different things on social media all the time. Again, we want to thank you for purchasing with us. We know you had choices in choosing a five and six speed conversion uh, package, and we're glad that you did it with us and making it modern.